Yo, what's up guys? Uh, today we are back with another banger. Can you believe this? Two videos in one day. You know what we're going to be doing today? We are going to be showing you how to get full body hockey as fast as possible. And we're going to get right into it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we, we got strategy number one. I'm pretty sure, I think you can gain the XP on Arnhemann Hockey or Aura by getting hit by mobs. I'm not sure of this, though. Yeah, on the wiki, it says that. So the first step, uh, go to first C. Go to the weakest mob possible. Now you're going to activate your Aura. Uh, you're going to want to hope you don't, if you, if you have a Logia fruit, you could go onto bosses so they could hit you. Like, I would go to the uh, Gorilla King. That's a weak boss right there. Or you could go to a mob of hockey. But I would just go to Gorilla King. Uh, first of all, you might want to be in a VIP. It could help. Uh, makes things a lot easier. Second of all, using Buddha could help because it reduces damage taken by 30%. Even though these are weak mobs. Uh, max defense would help. And then the Shark V4, Shark V3, the skill reduces 85% of damage taken. This could also help. So if you were to just auto click, not not too often. See, like not at zero, but maybe twenty five, because the cooldown is like thirty seconds. So if you had it like at two fifty, probably auto click by your water body, and that could help you. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's the first way. And uh, venom transformation, I'm pretty sure that also takes less damage. Anything that with damage reduction would help. Even accessories with high defense and uh, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's the first way. The second way uh, is to use spammy... The second way, I'll explain it. The second way is to use spammy moves on weak mobs. Not too weak mobs because you don't want to kill them. I'll, I'll go demonstrate. I will uh, be right back. Alright, guys, we're back. Uh, and we are at Water uh, Fountain City for a special reason. Uh, these mobs are extremely okay. They're they're a little strong, but there's this thing blocking them. Uh, if you get a fighting style, you can AFK it like this, because uh, they can only use their skill on you when you're farther away. Uh, you could just auto click, but the thing the problem is here that you kill them. But we're gonna test when they respawn. Uh, will it will it kill you? Will they come towards you? Is the question because that's the main goal. Using Logia for this is preferred. So let's test it. If I honestly with this, with this, you don't even need to go there. If you have a Logia fruit, I can I can literally just stand right here. It's not as effective though because they keep dying. See, like look, look, I could just do that. But let's see, what's the weakest sword I have? If I were to equip the katana, now I don't have anything. Twenty damage. If I were to do this, I could get a bunch of hits in. Um, honestly, using a fast sword is preferably best. But this is one way you could AFK it. Another way you could AFK it. This is a, I don't know, this is a third way. Using guns is super effective. I would equip Usopp Tat. I'm pretty sure it has like skill reduction plus gun damage. But if it doesn't have actual M1 reductions, then it is completely useless and you shouldn't use it. Because it's increasing your gun damage, which means these mobs are going to die faster. So say uh, it does, say it doesn't have that reduced reduced uh, cooldown on the... I know it has like less cooldown on the skills. On the actual M1, if the actual M1s aren't faster, you're going to be killing them faster. Which means they're going to be dead, which is going to take more time. It's honestly just not good. Uh, so let, let's kill him. Let's kill him real quick. I don't, I don't like him. Get out of here. Alright, so you could do this to anyone. Honestly, I just use Slingshot. If you have a Logia Fruit, you don't even gotta stand behind this area. Like, look at this, look at this. I could literally just AFK this. I could quite li- yeah, Just make sure to keep your cursor. I'll keep it with the cursor on the middle. Yeah, I don't even know. There's a bunch of methods. This is another method to do it. Uh, a couple of examples of Logi are smoke. That's a that's a cheap one. The second cheapest I think is the dark fruit, the light fruit, ice fruit, magma, dough. But that's expensive. Try to go for a cheap one like smoke or dark or even ice or sand. Sand. Uh, sand is also Logia. 
my god, I keep forgetting. But yeah, you see how it works. Um, let's see, what are some good Logias? The Flame Fruit. Yeah. Ooh, Chop Fruit. I'm pretty sure you could actually use Chop for this because they're using swords, which means you're immune to sword damage. So that is actually very nice. Uh, make sure, make sure you don't have hockey. Actually, it doesn't even matter. These mobs can't even hit me. Uh, and yeah, that, that's another way to do it. You can just AFK this. I don't know if you could do it overnight because eventually they will die. But actually, you can. Let's see. Let's see. Say, um, I'm doing it where they spawn, and let's say, let's say I just kill him. The question is, when they respawn, will I be damaging them? That's the main thing. We gotta find out. Alright. Where does he respawn? Where does he? Uh, I think it's right here. So if I. If you could literally. You might be able to just AFK this one spot. Uh, He's kind of. Okay, okay, it's okay. Oh, and he just comes right to you. So. It's gonna be right here. This is a sweet spot. It definitely. All right, moment of truth. Can I AFK it? Can I AFK it? I think this is the spot you aim for. Uh, I would use slingshot because low damage and it's super fast. Um, any any really fast guns. A sidium rifle. It's good because it has like multiple ticks of damage, but on the downside, it has a long cooldown. Yep. I'm getting all those hits in. I'm missing a couple hits, so I might want to just aim my cursor down here. The reason for this is no matter. I don't have to be hitting the mobs as soon as they spawn back in. The reason for that is because they automatically chase me no matter what. So I, I could be aiming up in the sky and not even touching them. So look, watch this, watch this. Well, I want them to walk towards me. But, like, right here. I could honestly, this spot, you could just AFK. You just get AFK. But yeah, the, the last and final method is to use spamming moves. And don't forget, guys, you cannot use fruit moves. That will that will not help you. So just don't use fruit moves. Uh, I need a couple examples of spamming moves. Let's let's see them. Uh, let's see, let's see. Does the spam? You want to try to get low damage as well. No spam, no spam. I know uh, dragon talon, one of the skills. Electric, you could get electric in the first seed, which is why it's good. This is hard, this is hard. I don't know, you, you want to see what does the uh, multiple ticks of damage. But a Sidium Rifle, look at this thing. Like, it's good because it does multiple ticks of damage. Let's see how many ticks of damage it does. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, it's five ticks of damage, but look at the cooldown on it. I don't know. Is it better? Is it better? Gotta let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's gonna be all for today's video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, peace out.